Praise the Lord. I'm Andrew Singleton, Jr., Senior Pastor of Victory Apostolic Church in Matheson, Illinois. And now we're starting to get into very serious parts of faithing the facts from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, as the Apostle Paul begins to talk about those who will not inherit the kingdom of God. One group of those among others, those who says are homosexuals, those who are practicing homosexuality. As a pastor, I've been asked several times by people, why did God make me that way? My immediate response to them is God did not make them that way. How could God hold them accountable for practicing homosexuality if he made them that way? What I do tell them is this, homosexuality like other sins have entered the world because of the fall of mankind through Adam. Our sexuality is fallen in its nature as well. And I want you to be clear. There's a big difference between what we feel and what we do. A person can have a homosexual orientation, which is not a choice, meaning that this is just how they feel about someone of the same sex. But the Bible never condemns a homosexual orientation. It condemns homosexual behavior. And someone is saying, well, Pastor, what's the difference? Well, what I feel is one thing. What I do is another. Because among the list of those that shall not inherit the kingdom of God, it's not just homosexuals. It's the greedy. It's those who are swindlers. It even has thieves in there. So this watch is not my watch. And I'm sure some of you, especially as we start heading toward Christmas, can remember times you looked at something and maybe even thought about taking it. You felt it. God didn't judge you for that. But you took it. And then you became a thief. So our feelings is not what God judges. Is our behavior. That's why in 1 Corinthians 6 it says, they which do not feel, not think, they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Let us live out our Christian lifestyle with faith and trust in Jesus Christ.